Hey guys, Uma here from Daggeron Gaming, and in this video I will explain to you why experienced players drop items before replenishing their health and mana. It is all based on pool percentage. Now, the math can actually get pretty complicated, but I'm going to explain this as simply as I can. If you would rather not listen to me talk and would rather just read it, I will post the script in the description below. But if you're going to read it, please leave the video playing and just mute it. Uh, YouTube can't tell anyway. Now, let's imagine you had a hero with exactly 1000 health and no health regeneration. Then this hero bought an item. Let's call this item the Titan, which gave another 1000 health for a total of 2000 health. Again, no health regeneration on this hero. Now let's say this hero got into a fight and his health goes down to 1000, so 50% of his health. Now, the way Dota works is if the hero drops an item that boosts their health pool, their health percentage will stay the same. So, if this hero dropped the Titan, his health would be 500. Now let's give this hero some health regen. A ring of health, a real item, gives a hero 5 health per second. At this rate, it is twice as fast to regenerate 500 health than it is to regenerate 1000. Once the hero is back up to 1000, his health percentage will be at 100%. Because health percentage stays the same, picking the Titan back up will put the hero at 2000 health. Now let's put this hero back at 50% health while holding the Titan, so 1000 out of 2000. Now we get a mech instead and remove the health regeneration from that. The active from the mech will give 250 health. If we use the mech now, his health will be 1,250 out of 2,000, which is approximately 62.5% of the hero's max health. Alright, one last time, we will put the hero back down to 1,000 out of 2,000 health. Let's drop the titan. Again, your health percentage will stay at 50, so you will have 500 out of 1,000 health. If we use the mech now, the hero's health will become 750 out of 1,000. 75% max health. If we pick up the Titan, the hero's health will be 1,500 out of 2,000, still 75%. Doing all of this has essentially doubled the effectiveness of the mech. The percentage you have at the moment will not change no matter how you change your health pool. All of this is also true for the mana pool. This is why players drop items when restoring their health in mana pools. This is also why tread switching is such a useful skill to practice. Now, it's not as simple as this in an actual game of Dota. There are much more complicated numbers. Strength and Intelligence items not only change your health and mana pool, they also increase your health and mana regeneration respectively. These numbers don't change very much though, so dropping the item is still more effective than holding it. A word of warning though, always make sure you are in a safe location when dropping your items. Enemies can very easily destroy them. One last tip, the fountain regenerates 4% of your maximum health and mana per second. It will also give you an extra 14 mana points per second, so it is better to drop any mana items you are holding. You can still drop your health items in the fountain, but it will take about 25 seconds to heal from low to max health, no matter what. That will do it for this video. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments below. Also make sure to show this video to anyone that is new to Dota, or is just wondering how the whole percentage thing works. Please subscribe and follow us on Twitter to stay updated on videos. Thank you for watching.